importance. Therefore, I would like Caleb to change his surname from Cooney to Cortland. Finally, every resident of this town deserves a proper welcome. So, by the end of the summer, I'd like Erica and Caleb to co-host a party to formally introduce my nephew to Pine Valley. That's not gonna happen, Captain Marvel. There's only one thing worse than people, and that's a room full of them. I remember now. Palmer mentioned you a couple of times. Said you lived in the woods. Well, isn't that fascinating? We're gonna have to catch up sometime. Okay, this is Palmer's day, and we're not gonna ruin it. You and I are going to talk alone. If Mom and Caleb don't exactly get along, you can't see them as business partners. Well, that guy does seem to be a little rough around the edges. I think your mama can take care of herself. How come you never mentioned where you were from? I don't know. How come you never mentioned that your last name was Cooney? And that box that you were always carrying around, was that from Pete? It sure was. Belonged to Palmer. We were always very, very close. Even up until the end. And I know that the most important thing to Palmer was family, but I cannot think for the life of me why he would want you to move here and own his company. Well, neither do I, Dorothy. I have no use for Cortland Electronics, and I have absolutely no interest in living in a place where everybody's got their nose in everybody else's business. I know you'd rather live alone with your ex, away from the real world. Well, if this is reality, Dorothy, you can have it. Pete knew that I hated his way of life. So this has got to be some kind of mistake or some kind of a joke or some kind of punishment. Especially pairing me up with you. Oh, let's get one thing straight right now. You and I are not now and never will be any kind of a pair. Mm. And yes, asking you to run Cortland Electronics, that most definitely is a joke. Oh, you'd do it better. My manicurist would do it better. Well, good, then I'll turn it over to her and she can run it, okay? Maybe she can also arrange your fancy wedding. Nice rock, by the way. Thank you. Jack has great taste. Mm, and perfect hair. Yeah, he showers. He actually takes care of himself. I'll drive you to the bus. I'd rather walk. Uh, hold your horses there, Mr. Caleb Cooney. Before you go anywhere, you're going to hear what I have to say. Do not have the foggiest idea why Palmer would give you his company. I mean, from the way you're acting, it seems to me you don't know diddly squat about business or much anything else. All right, all right, so that wasn't very nice of me. I apologize. I cannot presume to know what Palmer was thinking about when he made up that will, but whatever his reasons were, he was counting on you. Now, if you let him down, he is going to haunt you for the rest of your days. Well, no offense, Ellie May, but you're wasting your breath. You see, I would never step into Pete's shoes. They'd never fit. You know him better than the rest of us. You try. No, oh, listen, for once, I know it's amazing, but I actually agree with Caleb. He would be a disaster, and I have no desire to carry him. But, gal pal, you can't just... No, no I'm sorry, Opal, I'm really sorry. I mean, no offense to Palmer, but we're really going to have to come up with another solution. All right, listen, I can tell you this much as executor. He's going to have to hang around for at least a few days. What for? To sign off on some paperwork? You sign it. Well, I can't. Can't do that, sorry. Well, look, Caleb, Pine Valley's a very nice place. Your family has a long history here. You're already here. So what do you say you hang around for a bit, familiarize yourself with Cortland Electronics, and who knows? Maybe you'll find something that appeals to you. Well, 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 look at what just blew through the door. <laughs> Bianca! Oh, huh? honey, you're back so soon from Paris. <laughs> How, how is everybody? How are the girls? Oh, they how is send so their nice. love. She sends her love, too. Thank you. And, and, and Miranda, did the tooth fairy ever make that visit? Oh, apparently, the going rate for a first tooth is a euro. Wow. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. I should lose some teeth. <laughs> right. Listen, I'm going to run downstairs and get you some of the green tea, of which you are so fond. Oh, that is wonderful. Yeah, it's because I love you. And you, what would you like? <laughs> Nothing, sir. I'm fine. You're sure? Mm -hmm. I love you, too, you know. I know. Give me a kiss. Bye. I'll catch up later. <laughs> Oh, still standing. No more fusion drama since I left? 
just waiting for Greenlee's next attack, that's all. But I have been doing a lot of thinking lately, honey, and, uh, you know, I've been running this company for Kendall. I mean, I wanted to make sure it was still a viable company when she was ready to return. But lately, you're having second thoughts? Well, it's all turned so ugly, so negative. Because of Greenlee? Uh, in a word, yes. And I could wipe the floor with her, but the point is, is that what I want? Is that really what I want to do with my life? I fought and won and made it all about me? Opal asked me if that's what I want on my gravestone. I think that Palmer sending me to Pigeon Hollow and, and the plane crash and all of it, I, I, I just think that's what's propelling me to make the right decisions for myself, to, to get me to the place where I can choose my priorities. And being stuck in the trenches, wrestling greenly, is not your priority. No. You have put up such an incredible fight for Kendall, Mom. But if, if you want to move on, you should turn the battle over to someone else. But who? Who in the world would have the, the passion, the drive, the, the stamina to take on all this? Me. I'm going... Bianca, are you sure you're, you're ready to stay and take on Fusion? I've, I've actually been talking to Reese about coming back home. What's this I hear? We might be seeing your beautiful face on a more regular basis around here. <laughs> I also know two little girls who would be more than thrilled to see yours more often. <gasps> nice. Uh, but I, I think my mom's a little concerned about me going against Greenlee one-on-one. Wow. Uh, I knew you said you were... Having some doubts about Fusion. Bianca is taking over for me. Bianca just told me that she will take over Fusion for me. <sighs> Honey, I want you, though, to, to know, really, be sure about, about everything you're really getting into. Uh, consider it a wedding present to you both. <sighs> well, that would certainly free up my fiancé to spend more quality time with me. <laughs> Honey, really, though, what about, what about Paris? What about Cambius Industries? You have a whole life there. Well, uh, I've, I've learned a lot working there. But they don't need me. That company is in great shape. I'll just talk to Ryan. I'll explain why I'm leaving. And Reese completely supports my decision. Huh. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out as we go. You are amazing. You are amazing. <laughs> oh, I think it's a, a cane thing. <laughs> I, I think I'll just get started. I'll go look at the financials. Okay. In your office? In my office. Yes. Thank you. Might be just a little bit of Montgomery thing, too. I'm just saying. Oh, 